So we move on to the chapter three. Uh, it, it is about, well, mostly it's about system of linear equations and our task here to develop uh, a unified systematic way how we, systematic, systematic way how we solve this type of system of equations because uh, I know you met these systems on many occasions before with me or even before you met me. Uh, and you develop, each of you probably developed your own way how you solve these systems. Uh, yet, when it comes to the like a industrial, industrial uh, kind of systems, and in, in, in many applications, people dealing with the systems of linear equations, which carries thousands of equations with thousands of unknowns, you no longer can rely on your ad hoc solutions, whatever you have. Uh, and that's why we developed this unified, uh, systematic way of solving system of linear equations of, of any size. <coughs> and tr believe me, there are lots of applications where the systems appear very often in optimization and uh, in factorization, in encryption. And the, the systems the people operate with there have, has, have sorry, thousands of unknowns and thousands of equations, even more than that. Sometimes uh, the count goes for millions. Uh, we're not going to do that, but we're going to develop this systematic approach on the small systems, but the approach we will develop, it's suitable for systems of any size. That's the beauty of it. So generally, this, that I gave you the look of the system of any, like a, of, well, it's an arbitrary system of linear equations. It's general, generally, it looks like this. If you want to copy that, you can copy that. It says, like, that's how it looks. You can, uh, I can tell you that normally, coefficients here, so the coefficients here, it's this A with double indices, A with double indices, and normally when you write a system in this big form, you use this double indices for A, and the first index is the one which is uh, the equation index, you see here, the first index 1, the first index 2, the first index M, M for Mary, and the second index is the one which goes across the variables, 1, 2, 3, uh, normally, the coefficients here, in general, you can assume the coefficients here are complex numbers. The numbers on the right-hand side, these B numbers, they are also complex numbers. And the unknowns you go after, the unknowns are, of course, the X. All of these Xs are the unknowns. <coughs> so here, J. The J index in your A takes the values from 1 to M. That's the row index or the equation index. Uh, the K index, that's the variable index, it goes from 1 to N. And unknown, of course, also in general, you look for the unknowns in complex numbers, and that's the unknown. When people try to develop a unified way to solve a system of linear equations, they first ask themselves, what would be the, like a, what would be the easiest system to solve? What would be the system which like a, solves in one go, in one just like from the top of your head? And they realize, they realize that the system like, like this should be, have uh, the system, the system which is easy to solve, very easy to solve, uh, is the one which has the look like this. And that's the one which comes from the example on page three. I'll open it for you. So that's the system like this, which has the equations like this. That's the example on page three. So the beauty of this system is that actually you can, Step by step, you can easily find all of the unknowns without, without, without actually modifying the system at all, because the system itself is already is in the, ready to find the variable state, right? Because if you look, for instance, in the last equation, you can easily tell me that the z will be four. If you look at the equation now, when you now when you know that the z is four, by looking at this equation, you can solve for y this equation, and if you solve for y this equation, you will have uh, double y equal negative 4, yes, because z is 4, and double y will be negative 4, or if you continue this line, y will be negative 2. Now, by knowing now the value for z and the value for y, you can put this across the remaining equation, and you can solve this remaining equation for x, and the solution will be, if you just take all of the knowns now on the right-hand side, 7 take y take z, and if we substitute the values we found, the result will be 5. So when scientists or mathematicians first look at this and they just try to see, like, because we always think, like, you know, from the simpler, from the, from the simpler case to the harder cases, so they try, they try to identify the simpler cases of the linear systems for which the solution should be easy to come up with, and they realize that the system must have this kind of structure. 
to some extent, well, for the because we don't have we don't I don't have a better name for it at the moment. I'll call it like a triangular structure because you see, the system shaped like a triangle. We will just in just in 15 minutes I'll give you the official name for this kind of structure. But right now, that's how we can call it a triangular shape, which allows us doing this reverse finding of all of the variables or the official name for this process, the process which took us from this system to this one is back substitution. That's the term which you have to use when you, every time you refer to this, especially when you do tests. So the step from the system, which is shaped triangular, in a triangular form down to the, um, to, 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 the, to the values of the unknowns, this step officially is called the back substitution. Now, after we made this identification with you that actually in order to be able to solve system of linear equations, you have to bring it to this triangular shape, the next natural step will be how we can develop like a unified algorithm which will take us all the time from any system to triangular shape. And that's actually the main content of this, of this approach to the systematic approach to system of linear equations. Again, I will use an example to show you one demonstration how we bring any system to triangular shape system. Let's just look at this. It's just, the example is down here. I'll look at this system. 